Tuesday's grey and Wednesday too. Thursday, I don't care about you. It's Friday! Now, if we've been taking uh, GCSE exams, it would have been the last one this morning. However, as we know, everything has changed. So we don't yet know when mocks will take place, but we'll let you know as soon as we know. Um, obviously, they're debating about when schools are going to return, if it's going to be after half term, or as uh, suggestions at the moment, see the murmurings in the uh, media that it may be after Easter. Anyway, we'll get back to you on that one. As far as the national exams are concerned, now it seemed to be that, first of all, they said exams are going ahead, then they said all the exams, GCSEs and A levels are cancelled, then they're talking about possibly, maybe, we might do some type of exam going on. Interestingly enough, that if you've noticed on the media uh, in Wales here, uh, Kirsty Williams, the education minister there, has decided that there aren't going to be any GCSE or A-level exams in Wales whatsoever. Everything's going to be done on teacher assessment. But that's for Wales only. There's no decision yet on England, and I'll talk to you about that a bit later on. Now, this decision in Wales doesn't really surprise me at all, because when I was looking at the exam boards, the Welsh board, of which we do have a, a couple of subjects entering, um, have said that we do not need to put entries in just yet. All the other boards, basically in England, the AQA, Edexcel, OCR, have all said, yes, you must put in your um, entries right now. So this next couple of weeks, I'll be sending out to you, and I'll explain how that's going to happen in a bit, um, your statements of entry for you to check. It will look something like this. It's a bit of a blurry version here, I'm afraid. Um, just check at the top that your name um, and uh, all the details there, date of birth and so on, are correct. Down the left here, in exam board order, will be the subjects you have been entered for. So just check that, like this one's got biology, two papers, chemistry, physics, and so on, computer science, maths, English, and so on. All your subjects that have been entered for should be there. Check that, please. Make sure all the subjects you think you're doing are actually appearing here whether it's GCSE, A-level, and I'll be sending this out to your 12s for AS levels as well. The stuff on the right-hand side of this, you can kind of ignore at the moment, because that is the timetable that you would have done if you had been doing the actual sitting the papers. It tells you which paper, or what date, what time it starts, and so on. So just ignore that bit for now. Um, what you need to concentrate on is this bit here. Are all the subjects that you think you're entering appearing on here? If you have any problems with that, email me back straight away and let me know. If it's all okay, do not email me back, okay? So only email me if there is something wrong on this. Okay, so here are all the GCSE entries, all the A-level entries. Normally, I would uh, give these out in your tutor groups, you'd check through them, make sure everything was there, sign it and hand it back to me. We've got 400 students there, um, including the AS ones as well. Um, each of you doing about nine or ten subjects at GCSE, four, three or four subjects at A-level. So that means lots of subjects. I will make mistakes. You've got to check these for me to make sure that I haven't made a mistake on your sheets, please. So how are we going to get these to you? Well, we could post them, but how much is a second class stamp? 65 pence. As much as that. We've got 400 to post out, so that's 400 times. Um, that's £260. So we can't afford to do that, really. Problem with our system is it doesn't email out um, statements of entry either. It will email out a timetable when we, we put it all together, but it won't email out the statements of entry. So I asked the IT crowd upstairs if they could come up with a solution. And this is what they came up with. We take each one of these, we scan it in, and through the scan, I can send it directly then to you if you're emailed, which is great. It just means we've got 400 of these, though. We've got to scan in. 